everybody! Today we're going to talk about the best employees to have for your main restaurant, your branch, the best employees for procurement, and priorities on leveling them. So without further yada yada, let's hop right to it! Let me tell you that you don't have to dismiss an employee in case you think that their stats are very low. All employees are pretty much useful one way or another as they can always be used for procurement. Also, it's better to invest in the TV or internet ad to get better employees in the early game, as the cost of training is the same for all employees anyways. This means that it's better to invest on an employee that you'll be having until the end game. But anyways, in the beginning, you'll be forced to have Kyoko and it ain't so bad to level her to level 15, as she gives the rice with white shrimp meat recipe by then. She also has decent procurement stats compared to other employees, so having her would be alright. We're not including Maki on the list because she's one of the best employees to have for the kitchen anyways, and she's unlocked her the main quest. Let's talk about the best employees to hire and invest on. You wouldn't unlock your branch until the late game, so it's best to hire and level employees that you could potentially have for your branch right at the very start. And if you did the TV or internet ads, the best ones to hire in the beginning are Billy, Itsuki, Mitchell, Liu, or El Nino for the dining area, and Charlie, Yusuke, James, or Yone would be good until you unlock Maki. Ko, Dre, and Raptor are also good to have for the dining area, but they ain't that much useful in the early game. You can just hire them once you've unlocked the cocktail service. Let's talk about why they're good. Billy and El Nino are one of the best ones to have in the early game because of their first skills, which is the Cleaning Master. This solves one of the problems in the early game when you are trying to manage nearly everything. With both of them around, all you have to focus on would be the drink serving and wasabi refill. Your drink serving problems would also be solved if you choose to invest on leveling El Nino for his second skill. Billy's second skill is also good to have for extra income. You can match this two with either Charlie, Yone, Yusuke, or James as their second skills give 5-10% chance to increase the number of plates, which means more income. On the other hand, Liu, Itsuki, and Mitchell would be good to have if you're already right doing all of the cleaning, drink serving, and wasabi refill in the early game, as they're gonna be handy in the mid game once you've unlocked the branch or when you've discovered enhanced recipes. Not only are Mitchell's stats really high on serving, but his drink serving skills would really help the manager of your branch. This is the same for Itsuki. And Liu isn't only good with serving, as he can be dispatched to get a buttload of seasonings. Raptor would also be alright, except that he's on the expensive end, and his skills just ain't that useful. He got a very high serving stat, but Wasabi refill at the second skill? Nah man, that barely takes a minute to do and Ko and Billy's tip skills are way better. And as I mentioned earlier, Ko and Dre would be great to have once you've unlocked the cocktail machine as they both have cocktail serving skills and very high serving stats. This lets you automate most of the managing functions. Anyways, as I mentioned, for the kitchen staff, we'd want chefs with ingredient prep for more income. Though Charlie has a low base stat in the beginning, leveling him to 15 or 20 would really pay off as he has the highest cooking stat in game. Aside from Makido, that is, Yusuke would be agreed to have too because once you get employees with higher cooking stats, you can just dispatch Yusuke for seasonings as he got a great procurement stat. Yone is a bit expensive compared to Charlie, but she's got the second highest cooking stat in game, not including Maki. She also got the ingredient prep, which means more money. Lastly, what I like about James is that he got the seasoned jellyfish recipe at level 15, which is the most expensive jellyfish dish in game, making it perfect for jellyfish parties. He also got ingredient prep master, not expert. This means that it gives 10% chance for plates, so it's really good to have James on your main restaurant for more income. Once you've unlocked your branch, you'd have to choose a manager with high stats so that you can serve dishes with high ranking ingredients. And honestly, Dre is the best option for this one. I ain't even gonna give you other options. This is because he's got the most balanced skills of level 20. His high serving stats would be very useful as a manager, and his high cooking stat would enable you to serve dishes with high ranking ingredients. So yeah, you really need to get in level Dre. Trust me, it's worth it. 
For the dining area, it's best to put Billy here to help the manager with cleaning, which reduces your chances of making your customers unhappy. Another one that you can add here are either Mitchell or Itsuki, as they both have high serving stats and they both have drink serving skills. Itsuki is of course better than Mitchell, but if you choose to hire everyone for the sake of procurement, like, I don't know, what I did, then you'd want to put Mitchell on your branch and Itsuki for procurement because Mitchell's procurement stats are very low. He'd be very useless in procurement. Seriously, why is it that low? Do the devs hate him or something? For the kitchen, you'd really want Tohoku or Maki because they're the only chefs without ingredient prep. I know, I know. I just said that I want chefs with ingredient prep for more income, right? Though the problem with the branch is that it doesn't have a set menu unlike your main restaurant. It just serves the best dishes that it can based on the available ingredients there and the rank of the manager. So rather than wasting your employees with ingredient prep on your branch, you can put them on your main restaurant instead. Although, if you can get 4 to 5 plates per evening, this doesn't matter at all as you can only serve a max of 4 to 5 customers. For procurement employees, you'd want to have those with dispatch master skills for more ingredients. So you definitely want to invest on Masayoshi and Davina. Other than them, consider Yusuke and Pai as they both have very high procurement stats. Liu and Carolina are also good for backup. Look at how much seasonings that they can get at max level. But honestly, leveling the procurement employees to max ain't that worth it, as it costs around 300k per employee to level them from level 15 to 20, and it only adds a couple of seasoning increase. You can keep them at level 15 for a while, and then level them to max when you've maxed out your other employees. It's best to just max your branch's employees first, and then your main branches, and then the procurement employees would be the last priority. To sum it up, at the main restaurant's kitchen, you'd want James and Charlie or Yone on your main branch for more chances of getting free plates, though getting Charlie is honestly better than hiring Yone. At the main restaurant's dining area, you'd want El Nino and Ko to automate pretty much everything except for the wasabi refill. But if you're super lazy, you could replace Ko with Raptor to automate that too. For your branch, the best manager is hands down Dre, and put the Hoku and Maki at the kitchen to speed up their cooking since Pancha isn't there to speed things up. You'd want Billy for more help and income, and pair him with Mitchell if you decide to put Itsuki for procurement. Otherwise, just do Billy and Itsuki instead. For procurement, the must-haves are Davina, Masayoshi, Yusuke, and Pai. Liu and Carolina are good too in case you need more seasonings. And that's it for now. Don't forget to boop that like and subscribe for more Dave the Diver tips coming your way. Bye bye!